Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to week three of this weekly vlog series. I hope you guys are enjoying, or at least did enjoy the first and second one. Um, this week we're, we're still moving things forward. We're taking things one day at a time. So currently it's Tuesday. Yesterday was Memorial Day, so a little bit of a slower day, but still did a bunch of onboarding for two new cold callers. So unfortunately I had to drop one of my previous cold callers. Um, if you've watched the videos, you kind of know what I'm talking about, but I had two, ended up dropping one of them just because um, just the numbers weren't working out. There were some things going on that I know that just needed to be nipped in the butt, so I just let him go. Um, obviously, he got paid for last week, and so now ended up onboarding two more employees, or I guess you would say co-callers, um, both females from the Philippines, so they started today. So really just putting out a lot of fires today. It's kind of tough to make a bunch of acquisition calls, but also answering a bunch of questions. So at least I have one of the co-callers. She's been super good. She's probably gonna end up being a team lead for me, so she's been able to help me answer a lot of those calls, but in terms of the week, I don't know too much what's going on. We're actually going to be uh, touring an office or two different locations today um, down in Tempe, Arizona. So I'll probably bring you guys along for a little bit of that. And then um, I'm not sure if we're going to pull the trigger on something like that yet, but just kind of so I can see what prices look like. Obviously, I'm moving really, really quick. Going to be probably getting an acquisition rep probably within the next 30 days, I'd say. So you guys will obviously see all that on the video. I hope you guys do enjoy the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I'll catch you guys throughout the week. See ya. What's going on, ladies? Um, so I just wanted to take like 15 minutes to kind of go over a couple things. Um, there's a couple things I want you guys to work on. There's a couple things I needed to work on in terms of what I saw yesterday. Um, first, I think on my end, what I'm going to start doing is every single morning I'm going to be giving you guys new numbers. It's not that you need to know that, but just know that every morning I'm start. I think yesterday wasn't as successful as it should have been because of the fact of I talked to App when she said you were peop, she was at least sitting in available for a decent long or for a longer time than normal. So I think some numbers are getting marked as spam. So something I'm gonna do is go ahead and just give two new numbers to each agent per day. Um, so you should start to see a little bit more pickup rate. To be honest, it should be like, you should be sitting there no more than like 30 seconds if that, um, and I'm guessing yesterday was probably more than that. I don't think I did, did a good enough job trying to portray like what we're what we're looking for um, a lot of you you guys asked great questions yesterday and I do not mind if you help me about it um, sometimes I'm on call so it takes a little bit longer to get back to you but in the essence what we're doing is we're trying to find properties in a needle of a haystack so I mean in the end of the day based on last week's stats for you to get a decent lead it should probably take you a, let me see about talking to 30 people to get a lead on average. So that's you having a conversation with somebody and to put that in perspective, that's about 23 minutes of actually talking to somebody, which put that in perspective again, that's about like, I mean, average call you guys had was probably 15 seconds. You need 23 minutes to get a decent lead. Um, I think Portia had asked me yesterday, like what is, what is Apple doing that potentially could produce so many leads? And I'll be honest, she's she's not like, she's just naturally good at it. Um, I don't know, I listen to her a bunch of her calls, but she just comes off as like, and I'll show you guys some recordings, but it just comes down to, she's following the script and she's just asking the questions she needs to ask. This really isn't that complicated. Um, in the end of the day, what we're looking for again is the needle in the haystack. So a lot of you, you guys were coming to me yesterday and saying, hey, um, I got this land for 400000 I got this home for 300000 In the end of the day, all we're doing is looking, I want you to compare what they're asking to what the Zillow price is. If it's below that Zestimate, send it to me, as long as there's a little bit of motivation. I'd rather you guys not have me ask me questions more about land because it, it, it's a decent part of our business, but it's not what we're going to make. I'm not going to make most of my money. It's I put that out there and I probably shouldn't have of but when I said like oh maybe just send me every land thing I'm starting to change that and realize just send me things that are like cheap like I don't want land I'd say over 50,000 if somebody's asking for like one acre don't send it to me there were some first day jitters and I get it right that, that's what I expected 
So I'm not hounding you to it. I'm not gonna sit here and play calls. Like we'll do that on Friday in our team sales meeting. I've been collecting calls from yesterday as well, just kind of recording some I think we can work on. But I'm just trying to make this as simple as possible. So like you don't have to come to me and say, hey, I got this lead, I got this lead. Like, And this is not to blast you or anything like that, Porsche. I think you had just asked me, um, hold on. <laughs> got one lead with a for sale sign in Zillow for 77k remodeled three months ago. If it's remodeled three months ago, we're never going to get that deal. That means somebody did exactly what we're doing. Out of all the regions, though, that's the newest, so it's not. Not that bad. Okay. This one is a lot bigger. And then what'd you say they'll come in and clean up the yeah, we're like the carpet, the carpet and stuff? Carpet okay. Yeah, Replace it. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> As you can see exactly where Yeah. Because they don't want to have to keep redoing carpets if they need you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. So, yeah. And do you have like a limit of how many people you can put in them or how does that work? I mean, they try to limit it, especially the space they would say up to two. Um, we just ask for noise, obviously, you know, and things like that in the fire code. to the property manager, maintenance, and the day quarter that are on site, and so somebody will dress it immediately because it 
too hot to cold. Does it shut off at a certain time? It does. So on the weekends, it does shut off. Oh, uh-huh. No, nothing like that. So you have 24 hour access all the time. Um, if it is after hours, so you always have a key to your office and then you'll have a key to the common area doors. Mm -hmm. We just ask that you lock that behind you when you're done with it. Okay. Um, for your own security, obviously. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's And then the price I quoted you is with electric, but when you get your invoice, you'll see your rent and electric broken down on that. Mm -hmm. um, and then the only other thing that's not on there is tax, which is you can so. How do you, what do you do to like basically move in when you go? When you move in, like a deposit. Yeah, your deposit is equal to your first month without the um, electric, so it's a little bit lower than those prices that are written down. So for like this one, this would be like four hundred some times two. Or yeah, a, a little bit less. Right, of, yeah, without the electric. How much of that is electric? Um, it's a dollar sixty-three per square foot is what you pay for it. Okay. Um, but I can I can email you the breakdown if you want me to. So like this price, or, I think it's like 20 or 30 bucks. So these price with electric is consistent, doesn't change. Correct. Okay. Unless it changes. Like let's say next year the electric drops, which it did during COVID. So they used to be at $1.89 per square foot for electric, and that's what we charged. Okay. Then everybody on the new schedule is getting charged now at 163. So it can fluctuate based on the building occupancy. Okay. But other than that, no, it doesn't change. We're not like a Regis if you're familiar. Yeah. That's what yeah, I'm no, your yeah. invoice would not be up today a little bit it is thursday we're going to meet with another wholesaler yeah i believe he's in this market in the arizona one but just want to see how his operation is um i think we're kind of mutuals over on instagram and that's how i met him so um, that'll be pretty cool see what his operation looks like he does have an office so i was super curious on how we set it up because obviously that's something i'm looking at and i'm just going to ask him a bunch of questions because you know it's always good to connect with others and see if I can provide any value to him and I'll obviously learn from him as well. So um, we're going to be heading over there right now and I'll show you a little bit of his office. Friday morning. Um, I haven't got a crazy amount of footage this week, but I hope you guys um, did enjoy that office tour of a buddy of mine yesterday. I'm actually, after I left, um, ended up contacting the same leasing or lease person, um, and I'm going to be going and checking out a few offices. I think two today. Um, they had some pictures online, but I wanted to see it in person. It'd be in the same building, um, honestly, even in the same wing. So. Would be pretty cool, but have to see about price, and I'll obviously go over that with you guys after I take a look. Um, and obviously, I'll be bringing you guys along to see those offices with me. But for today, um, we're going to see a bunch of offices. I got to make a bunch of offers. We still don't really have anything locked up for the week. Been pretty up and down just because cold callers have been losing their connection because of some weather in the Philippines. Um, so if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, you'll know these things before I put them out on this video. So make sure to, to hit me with that follow on the Instagram. Just do a lot of more of the day to day of it uh, activities, whereas this is more on the weekly side of things. So, um, but definitely go check that out. Um, be more than happy to follow you guys back. If you guys are in the, the wholesaler space or the real estate space and we can get, maybe have a conversation, but I'm um, just going to be making, uh, making a bunch of offers this morning. Um, getting on just making sure everything's working with call tools and the software doing a couple updates on my podio and then um, we'll kind of see where the day takes us but we're definitely going to be working tomorrow just because it's been a pretty slow week and try to get something locked up so um, I'm going to go make some offers right now and I'll catch you guys in a little bit So 23 each, so that would be, um, just making sure, 
69,000 total. We'll cover the closing costs and I can probably get this thing closed in like two, three weeks if that works for you guys. Okay. So. He said, he's, he said it's like 69 total. Huh? Hold on a second. You're good. Okay, he's, he, I'm sorry. He said, make it 70, done deal. We'll close in two or three weeks for you. Can you guys, if I send you a DocuSign, can you guys get it back to me like within the next hour or two? Yeah. Okay, well let's, let me get your email. What's a good email? It's, and then, um, are you both on the deeds? Is it just you or just him? It's just me. It's just me on the deed, right, Ben? Yeah, it's just me. Can I text you? Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. I'll text you when I get it to you, and then if you can get it back to me like within half hour, an hour, I think we should. I might be able to get into the attorney before he leaves, so. Okay. All right. Well, I appreciate it, Jen. Thank you so much. All right. No problem. Bye. You're Bye. Well, I just want to call and congratulate you because I just locked up one of your deals. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, yeah, you get the spiff today. Congrats. You get the... Yeah, I'm going to be adding that. So, um... It was... Those are... Those are... That's, that's my bread and butter right there. Those land that you can put the mobile home on. Oh, perfect. So... She was asking a little high, but I got her a little bit down, and we she just signed, so that's gonna it's gonna be a good deal. So, um, not not making a ton of money off of it, but you do get the extra hundred bucks, and then obviously when it does close, I'll give you the the twenty five bucks because I do twenty five per deal close. So, um, I figured you'd be excited if I called, so I just wanted to let you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> I know this is honestly like like um, Apple's pumping out like six seven leads every single day and you pull one or two and bam it's a good one right you don't you don't need a crazy amount you just got to find the right one so You're chilling. So, well, hey, if you yeah. give me another one of those, I'll give you an, ex an extra hundred bucks today. Yeah, I'm, I'm all about it. So, um, I'm. That's I do one spiff a week, so that one's for the day only. So, but, but, all right. Well, congrats. Keep, keep, keep going. Keep chugging. I'll have a good rest of your day. All right. All right. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. All right, so before we wrap up the video, obviously if you guys have watched any of my other vlogs, we kind of end these videos describing how the week has been, go over some numbers, some things that we're kind of proud of, some things that we need to work on. So um, that's what we're going to do right now. I got my journal here. I got my call statistics or um, call tools up um, so I can tell you guys how much data we kind of went through this week and let's see if we got any deals. So. This is, it's pretty funny. I'm starting to notice a trend that I was going to come in this video and say we had a slow start, but we finished really strong. And that starts, it starts to seem like that's a trend that I probably something I need to work on going forward. Um, for some reason, I'm just having slow starts where I don't really lock up anything on Mondays, um, but I do lock up stuff around that Thursday, Friday time frame, And that's totally fine. Um, my goal right now is one deal a week and we're right on track if not doing a little bit more which is pretty cool but um, we did lock up something this week I didn't really talk too much about it in the video but it is kind of a three for one kind of deal so the owner owner owned three lots all next to each other in Georgia and they all can individually have a mobile home on them each lot is about uh, an acre to an acre and a half or I should say an acre to two acres so they're pretty good piece of land one has a mobile home on it two are zoned for mobile homes so if you guys don't know me and my business, that's kind of my bread and butter. 
that's what that's how I've made a lot of my money in the wholesale business specifically within Georgia and that's the kind of niche that I've found so that one hopefully I can at least make 10,000 my goal is to potentially make 15 to 20 on it it really just depends um, I got a, a really good mobile home land buyer so I should be able to dispo that he's just out of town right now so I have to wait for him to get back in town for me to be able to show it to him um, but that's not a problem and then we did send out a contract this week as well um, that one didn't get signed, so I am waiting on that. But um, I did go through it with with him, but he just wanted somebody else to look at it, which I understand. Um, but one thing I've started to notice was um, I get contracts signed a lot quicker now. The fact that I've made my wholesaling contract or the per general purchase and sale agreement a lot simpler. Um, I started noticing that people started having less questions and it worked just as well. I mean, in the end of the day, the attorneys accepted them. So there really isn't any issue with them. And um, I'm just getting a, a lot less wait time to wait for that contract to come back in, even though I am going ahead and walking through the contracts now, which I didn't do before, but it does make a very big difference. One thing that we did do to move this week forward um, or move this business forward was we did end up looking at a couple offices. Um, as I'm filming this video, I did pick one, but I'm not gonna talk about it until the next video. So definitely watch out for that coming out next week on Monday. Um, gonna be, I picked an office, signed the lease and put down the deposit and everything. So I already got, I should be getting the keys here in a few hours. I'm gonna go do that after I finish this video. And then we're obviously gonna decorate a little bit and then just start cranking deals out of there. I'm super excited about it. Um, so definitely look out for that video. One thing I did wanna mention on, I, I like to talk about things that I really wasn't too fond of that happened during the week. And that was honestly some of my cold callers. You guys know I have three of them full time now. Two of them honestly have not been killing it for me. Um, I understand this business or that job position is very high turnover, so I get it. Um, just need to spend a little bit more time on the interviews, actually maybe hearing them on the dialer because the interview is one thing and then even though they had experience, it's just, it's not translating very well and I'm trying to get over that hurdle. Um, to be honest, we'll probably let one of them go, but still making that decision. Nothing's official yet, but my one first cold car, she was the first one. She's absolute, absolute killer and she's producing um, double of what these other people are producing together. So um, I know what to look for now. I, I kind of, I'm grateful that I have something or a good caller to compare to um, and what I should be expecting when it comes to it. So that's a big plus out of it, but I need to really dial in on those callers and see if I want to keep them. If I do want to keep them, I need to train them a little bit better. So a little bit slower on the leads. I, we did produce 68 leads this week. That's what I see in the system. To be honest, that's probably more on the 50 to 55 range, which is still crazy good. Um, I thought it was gonna go down way more after the last few weeks, but about 50 to 55 leads just because they were submitting leads in the beginning that um, they didn't really know too much about. And I said, hey, we had a conversation. You probably shouldn't be submitting these going forward. So. Um, depends on what you consider a lead, but pretty much anything for me is anybody that wants to sell, has a decent motivation and timeline, and then below the Zestimate. Um, what that number is below the Zestimate pretty much changes. Sometimes it's 5,000 less, sometimes it's 100,000, but obviously that dictates what I can do with the deal. And um, starting to get more tools in my pocket that I can kind of potentially make money on any type of deal, which is kind of cool, but that's kind of where I'm at with that. And then overall, we did 40, around 46,000 dials. Uh, we did 44,902 in one campaign and 918 in the other. So close to 46,000 dials total. We had talked to right around 3,300 people um, and got 50 leads from that. So if you want to do your percentage or calculation, again, I'm just at the stages of building that data, seeing what normal numbers look like. And eventually those big swings of this week to that week, we'll pretty much start to average out and we'll get to a, a pretty good number or, or expectation of where we need to be at. So um, that's pretty much it for this week. Again, look out for the next video next week, gonna be locking up the office, um, potentially trying to hire, bring in an acquisition rep. So hope you guys did find value in today's video. If you guys have any questions, or again, if you guys are interested in potentially getting an acquisition rep position with my company, hit me up on Instagram. Um, we can get an interview. I'm not going to promise a job just because you're watching this video, but 
I'm gonna treat you like anybody else I do hire, so let me know. Definitely looking for one of those guys or gals, doesn't really matter. Um, you just must be in the local Phoenix market, but I appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to like, subscribe, do the whole shebang if you guys wanna get updated, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.